Hi guys, well this was never intended to be the world tour of toilets but um, there's another wonderful mural here. So I'm about 100 kilometres south of um, Mackay, uh, about 200 k's roughly north of Rocky um, and I'm at a place called Clareview and this is actually a dugong reserve. Um, I'll have a quick look down there in a tick but uh, it's an area of restricted fishing and you know recreational activities just so it's a breeding ground for dugong. But at the toilets here, there's this wonderful mural. So, I thought we'd just go over this and have a quick look because um, this is some of the local bird life and, and we have actually crossed quite an eco zone. I noticed from, uh, yeah, probably, I don't know, a few hundred case south of Cairns, but we're really getting changes. So I'll just go through and talk about everything that we see here. Um, only the birds, not too good on the mammals. There's a ring tail possum by the looks. We did cross Herbert's River before, the Herbert River ring tail possum, because famously the um, logo for Queensland National Parks and Wildlife Service. So down here, um, I've seen uh, masked lapwings or spurwing plovers as they used to be known, uh, all the way up the coast. They and peewees from between Toowoomba and Port Douglas, they would be the most widely distributed and common bird that we saw. And even though they're a, uh, a ground bird, they're aggressive and they're generalist in their habits and their feeding. Same with the peewees or um, magpie larks. And so that means they're highly adaptable to different environments. So that's why they're probably the most widely spread there. Hi Daisy, how are you? Just see you've joined us. So um, there's a couple of rainbow lorikeets here and good to see that they've got rainbow lorikeets, not red collared lorikeets like they had on the mural at Port Douglas. Laughing kookaburras, dingoes. The country here, it's a little bit drier, more, more eucalypt. Um, Pale-headed rosellas, so we're now out of the uh, the northern subspecies, which have the blue cheek patches. We're down uh, just to the nominate race again, um, which from memory is Caliceps. So, uh, all around the lorikeets. I don't know what that is, I hope it's not a rabbit, might be. Um, so olive back sunbirds still here, black back magpies of course now. I didn't see any magpies um, at all right up in northern Queensland, up around um, Cairns onwards. Uh, it was all black butcher birds and I think the magpies are just out competed by the black butcher birds. Didn't see any magpies again until Townsville and no black butcher birds at that stage. Uh, rainbow beaters, they're quite widely spread around Australia. Scrub turkeys, only ever saw a couple of oh, Australian brush turkeys, aka scrub turkeys, only ever saw a few of them up north, plenty of the orange footed scrub fowl. So it's not that they're not around, but I would just say the orange footed scrub fowl are, are doing better. Now, I haven't seen any grey butcher birds. Last night at Mackay, oh, sorry, early this morning at Mackay, I saw two pied butcher birds. First time I've seen uh, pied butcher birds uh, south of. Well, we, we never saw any north of Townsville. I don't think I saw any in Townsville, but certainly Cairns Northwoods didn't see any pied or grey butcher birds. My theory is butcher birds don't compete too effectively against magpies, so they coexist, um, but they can't compete against the, um, the black butcher birds. These are, of course, smaller than black butcher birds, but they're not a threat to the magpies, so they coexist. Spangled drongos, um, I don't know how far south they go. We certainly get them down uh, around Toowoomba and in Brisbane even, I've seen them. Um, this is some kind of bandicoot, sorry not a mammologist, I think there is like a pig nosed bandicoot or something isn't it, a pig footed bandicoot, so that's I would suggest probably what that is. Rainbow lorikeet, well they're basically everywhere as we know, but um, yeah just watch what you plant because the numbers of these guys are insane. Um, the female red dog black cockatoo, got lots of great footage of them um, just in uh, Bowen yesterday. And another black back magpie life in Kookaburra. And up here a blue faced honey eater, so similar to the pale headed rosellas, we're now out of the, the zone for the northern subspecies. Not a big difference, the northern subspecies just have white under their wings and they might have a little bit different on the tail. I, I never got a good look at them up there, I, I saw some around but didn't get a good look at the, the markings that were different. Um, another scrub turkey. So, what a nice mural. This one is a painting, not a, um, not a, uh, yeah, not a mosaic. And I'm just trying to think the, uh, 
Yeah, they don't have magpie larks here. So the other most common bird on our whole trip was a magpie larks as well as the uh, marsh flatwings. And down here, so this is a huge area that is a conservation park for dugongs. So this is Clareview, uh, about 100 k's north of Marlborough, 100 k's south of um, south of Mackay. Let me just get my hat on. And look at this. Tide's obviously out at the moment, pretty rugged environment out here. Um, I saw a couple of birds but they took off. They might have been brush bronze wings and a small bird. I'm not sure if it was a pippin or what. I didn't get much footage of it. So I won't go, I'll just go up to where the mangroves are, it's quite rocky here, but if this is a dugong conservation zone, obviously there's lots of seagrass just further out here, and it's, um, I think it's an important breeding area for dugongs, there's a uh, uh, display board just up there near the toilets, which we'll talk about it a bit. But anyway, there we go. So I'll leave you too. Thanks for joining me, Daisy, and anyone else who looks at this. Um, you can see the coconut palms, they occur naturally down as far south as Bundaberg, I've been told. After that, they struggle. So anyway, there you go. Another nice mural up there. Things like that are great, just spreading a bit of knowledge and love about our wildlife. So, all right, guys, I'll leave you too. Have a good day. See you then. Bye.